American dream is dead, and the U.S. middle class has been left with the nightmarish reality of decaying living standards, poor working conditions, and rising living expenses. During our golden era, the United States was known by the rest of the world as the country that had the largest, the strongest, and the most prosperous middle class. But those days are far behind us. Now, the American middle class is falling apart, and more people have fallen into poverty. Not so long ago, middle class families used to have nice homes. Most households had a car or two. Kids had good toys, comfy clothes, food was abundant. People could go on vacation and retire, and teenagers could even look forward to going to college if they wanted to. There was an implicit promise that this was the way that things were always going to be. Today, there is simply not enough good jobs for everyone. In fact, the vast majority of jobs are hardship jobs, in which workers don't even earn enough to keep up with their monthly bills. Labor conditions are so bad right now that millions of people are just dropping out of the labor force and relying on federal assistance programs to get by. Nearly all of the long-term economic trends just keep getting worse and worse. We can't afford mortgage payments. We can't afford rent. We can't afford to buy a car. We can't even afford gas. It seems like the future has been removed from our reach, and there's no hope that things will change for the better. Unless fundamental transformations are made economically, financially, and politically, the long-term trends that are destroying the U.S. middle class will continue to do so. The number of decent jobs has been declining for years, and those positions that used to offer some sense of financial stability to millions of families decades ago do not exist anymore. They've been replaced by a smaller number of low-paying service jobs. And at the same time, the cost of everything continues to soar. So many of us can't afford to do basic things, such as putting food on the table, such as heating our homes. On top of that, healthcare costs are completely outrageous, and many people are falling into a devastating debt spiral just to pay for an unexpected healthcare expense. Household debt rises by trillions of dollars each year, and credit card debt has absolutely exploded since the turn of the century. Meanwhile, college tuition is now out of reach for millions of American families, and social mobility is close to zero. With each passing month, more American families fall out of the middle class. Today, there are more Americans on food stamps than ever before while more than one out of every five U.S. children is living in poverty. Things are getting really, really gloomy out there. We can no longer deny that the U.S. middle class is being shredded, ripped apart, and systematically wiped out. And if you still doubt this, just check out the statistics. In this video, we have compiled numbers that expose the dire reality of the U.S. middle-class families. But before moving on, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel to keep updated with future videos. Without further ado, here are 30 facts which prove the American dream is turning into a nightmare for the middle class. Number one. The competition for good jobs is incredibly fierce right now. There are currently 11.3 million job openings in the labor market, but only 23% of available positions are considered middle-class jobs, while 15% are considered living wage jobs, according to data compiled by research firm Third Way. At the same time, Employers are favoring candidates with several years of experience, availability to work evenings or weekend hours, and a willingness to work in person to fill those positions, the Washington Post reports. Two, on the other hand, 
63% of job openings are for low-wage positions that only offer between $15,000 to $20,000 per year. Three, that means approximately 78% of all jobs out there do not offer enough financial support for the U.S. middle class. Four, in 2015, only 4% of the unemployed were middle class workers. In 2021, that number jumped to 6.9% according to the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities. Five, over the past two years, American women lost a net to 5.4 million jobs, while American men lost nearly 4 million jobs. Today, the participation rate of both men and women between the ages of 39 to 54 in the U.S. workforce is at an all-time low. Six, more than 400,000 payroll jobs were lost since the beginning of the year, CNBC reported. Seven, since the turn of the century, the U.S. has lost an average of about 50,000 manufacturing jobs per month. Eight, according to an analysis released by Shadow Government Statistics, the real rate of inflation currently stands at 16 percent. Nine, meanwhile in March, average gasoline prices rose 22 percent in two weeks, hitting a record of $4.43 per gallon. 10. On a yearly basis, the average price of a gallon of gasoline almost doubled in the United States, rising by approximately 46.72%, Y-chart data shows. 11. Energy bills now account for around 6% of all consumer spending. The last time this has happened was in the early 1970s, just before the recession began. 12. Natural gas prices climbed 24% over the past year, while fuel oil, still a major source of home heating, has seen the sharpest increase of 44% compared to a year ago. 13. The extreme utility bill increases are having a serious impact on household budgets and debt. For instance, in New York, 1.3 million households are at least two months behind on utility bills, accruing a debt of more than $1.7 billion, according to state filings from 10 major utility companies. 14. In January, an additional 3.7 million children fell into poverty due to the expiration of government assistance programs such as the child tax credit. 15. The United States leads all nations in having the highest rates of child poverty, currently at 20.9%, while the overall average amongst developed countries stands at 11.7%. 16. Amongst the 26 developed nations that participate in the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the rates of poverty in the United States are substantially higher and far more extreme than those found in the 25 other nations. 17. The overall poverty rate in America stands at 17.8%, while the poverty gap defined as the extent to which individuals on average fall below the poverty line, stands at a shocking 38.9%. 18. In 1980, government transfer payments are accounted for just 11.7% of all income. In 2020, government transfer payments accounted for nearly 39% of all income, according to the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis. 19. Since the burst of the COVID health crisis, U.S. households have started to receive more money from the U.S. government than they're paying the government in taxes. 20. Today, 52.2 million Americans, or 21.3% of the entire population, receive money from the federal government in one form or another. 21. The average cost of tuition, room and board 
at America's public universities is now over $20,000 a year. For America's private universities, that figure is $38,000 a year. 22. From the early 1980s up until 2021, the average cost of college tuition in America has gone up by over 900%. 23. Around 66% of students from public colleges graduate with student loan debt. 24. According to the Bureau of Economic Analysis, health care costs accounted for just 9.5% of all personal consumptions back in 1980. Today, they account for almost 33.25%. 25. Last year, Americans' medical debt totaled $140 billion. 26. Unpaid medical expenses make up for at least 17% of all credit card debt, the U.S. Census Bureau reported. 27. A clever real estate report found that total credit card debt has skyrocketed by 25,500 per cent since 1970, when adjusting for inflation. 28. For most middle-class families, the family home is the number one financial asset. Unfortunately, millions of Americans may never be able to buy a home. According to a Harvard study, over the past five years, the number of Americans who can't afford a home rose by 38 million. That's a 146% increase in the past 20 years. 29. Nationwide, there are only 250,000 homes for sale that are considered affordable for middle-class workers, the National Association of Realtors reported. And 30. This means that only one in every 64 middle-class families is going to be able to purchase an affordable home in the current real estate market. We all grew up thinking that if we studied a lot, if we worked really hard, if we stayed out of trouble, if we did everything that the uh, system told us to do, then we would guarantee a spot in the middle class, just like our parents did. We believed that we were going to be able to live comfortably and peacefully. But it turns out that the system is breaking down, and the promises that have been made to our generation have been empty. That era of prosperity is far gone. Our economic collapse is accelerating at a very worrying pace, and it's safe to say that life in America will never be the way it used to be again. <laughs>